Welcome back. We got commentary from uh, the Bank of Japan, uh, uh, you know, uh, Chief, and it was on expected lines. Perhaps the market is taking some note of that. We've seen a bit of a recovery from the lows on the Nifty. 18,243 is where we are. It's about uh, 30, 40 odd points away from the low of today. Let's see where we go in the second half of trade. But uh, the stock on our radar, as promised, is uh, EPC Major, KEC International. They've backed New orders worth nearly 1,300 crore rupees across various businesses. The company's total order intake for this year stands a little over 14,400 crore rupees, which is a 20% jump year on year. So we have with us Vimal Kejriwal, who is the MD and CEO of the company, joining us. Uh, Vimal, first up, congratulations on this order inflow. And secondly, just wanted to know how much of this has been factored in uh, when you, you know, earlier revised your order inflow guidance for the year from 16,500 to 17,000 to 17,000 to 18,000 crores. I mean, uh, was this order also factored in? Or do you think uh, you can up your guidance for this year a little more? So, Manglam, good afternoon. Uh, if you ask me, frankly, the solar order was not factored into our order book, okay? Others were factored in. But, you know, when we released the order in, order intake guide, uh, guidance, then some of them, we what we have included, have, don't come in. So, I'll, I'll still stick to my earlier guidance, you know, saying that we'll do our order intake from 18 to 20,000 crores. Okay, Mr. Kejriwal, hi, welcome to the show. You know, I had a larger sort of question for you because we are towards the year end and I wanted to get your perspective with regards to how the year has panned out for KEC. Say in terms of order intake, say in terms of margins, there have been a lot of headwinds that we faced, uh, you know, if it was in the war or if it was in central bank tightening. Uh, was this year in line with your expectations? Do you think that it could have probably been better? Just a brief answer. So as far as the order intake and new business pipeline is concerned, I think the year has turned out to be better than what we expected, especially on, on the TND side. The power grid, we got a lot of orders and Middle East and all that. So if you look at the overall business, uh, new business outlook, it's been much better than what we had expected at the start of the year. The new business outlook much better than what you had expected. So that's good to know because we did see a lot of headwinds. In quarter two, you had spoken about higher receivable from railways, higher inventory levels and higher GST receivables as well. Uh, what is the situation right now in quarter three? And in that light, what is the outlook on your inventory days? So uh, as far as our receivables, inventories and all other debtors are concerned, we have been maintaining a position that we will start seeing some improvement. We have had some marginal improvement in Q3, but Q4 is the one where we expect a much larger improvement because some large projects are getting closed, so retention receivables will get released. So we are expecting that our overall you know, uh, assets and all that current assets will come down by roughly around 500 crores, leading to a improvement on our interest costs and borrowings. All right. And would you be uh, saying the same for your margins as well? Because you've been maintaining that, you know, the second half of this year may not see much movement in the margins. In fact, the first half as well, it was uh, pretty low. You know, the second quarter was sub 4.5% as well. You were targeting double digits by the start of next, next fiscal. Do you think that will be postponed or you still maintain that? So, so Mangan, there's no change in the margin perspective what we had been talking we expect a slight improvement happening in Q3 and Q4, which should go up by, let's say, 100, 150 basis points. I'm not sure exactly where, but there will definitely be a jump up happening in Q4, by which time we expect that we will close all our old legacy orders, which were at a much lower material cost. And, and from, I think, next year onwards, we have said that uh, we should be anywhere between 8 to 10 percent next financial year, starting from Q1. Okay, starting from Q1, you're expecting uh, 8 to 10% in terms of improvement. You had also guided that maybe in FY23, you'll reduce debt by around 500 odd crores. Does that still stand? 100%. I think we are very clear on that. And we have started getting into some, some inflows already coming in. And projects are heading towards closure where we had some monies which were slow moving. So we are very confident that in Q4, we should reduce our borrowing by 500 crores. Okay, but what would your target level be in terms of net debt? Uh, you know, you would probably come down to around 3,000 odd crores if you do meet that uh, guidance. But uh, what would your target debt level be and when do you expect to achieve it by? 
so i don't think we are looking at too much reduction in debt levels going beyond this because what's also happening is that with an order book which we have this year we have guided for a 20 percent growth and next year we are talking of at least a 15 percent growth so we will need some more debt for uh, our growth which we expect to come from reducing the existing debt so what we are looking at is that with the current debt, uh, debt levels which we are expecting to be in march at the same levels we should be able to operate with a much higher revenue of let's say 15 percent uh, you know next year okay mr kesraval you get 32 percent of your orders from the export markets rest is from the domestic markets the general conversations that we have been having is export markets have been seeing some pressure that was in quarter two but has that improved in quarter three what is the outlook on exports and are those coming in higher margins for you so let me put it in a different way so there are markets like let's say africa etc where there is a clear uh, pressure which we are seeing but if you look at markets like Middle East, even though crude is at $80, etc., but we are very clearly seeing, in fact, a large amount of our order book for international has come from two markets. One is Middle East, primarily Saudi and UAE. And the second has been the United States. We are seeing a lot of, lot of uh, reconstruction of infrastructure happening in the United States. So orders for a Mexico factory as well as from India and Dubai have been coming from the uh, North America, especially United States. The third area where we get orders in international has been, you know, SARC, which is mid, which is essentially Bangladesh and Nepal. And these are generally multilateral funded, notwithstanding the problems which we are seeing there. Uh, orders are continuing from these, loca from these locations also. So for me, fortunately, I don't operate in Europe and some of these countries which have both, both the brunt of the war. So I, I think we are quite happy uh, with what is happening on the international. And this year, especially FI23, if you look at it, we'll grow our international business in terms of revenue by at least 40 percent. Right. Uh, oh, that'll be, uh, you know, great. Mr. Uh, Kesriwal, you know, the last question from my end, and this is more strategic in nature. You've always been usually at the forefront when it comes to seeding new categories. I remember a bunch of years ago when we used to ask you what is going to be a growth category for you. You said it was railways. Then until last year, we spoke it was civil. And uh, all these categories are growing at a much faster clip than the overall average of the company, and they're increasing in their contribution to the business as well. Is there any other category that you are seeding right now and you believe can be, say, something like the next railway or next civil? So there are a couple of things. You know, uh, when I say civil, civil has got various verticals. So like to me, a data center could be a very big category. Today, we are already doing four data centers. And there are huge is happening in data centers. Last year, we acquired a company in oil and gas pipelines. That's the, the oil and gas uh, business has not done great, much better than what we had expected, but not done great. But now with the war and people talking about self-sufficiency in gas, etc., and with green hydrogen coming in where, you know, you may require pipelines for hydrogen and for ammonia, etc. So towards oil and gas pipelines will be one business. Data center could be another business which can become very large. The third one is if you look at the order, orders release which we announced today, there's a large order from a solar power. So, you know, we had generally given up solar in a way that was too competitive. People were not making money. Mm. And then what we realized is that if you look at the green hydrogen targets, which our, which our country has fixed, even if you have to achieve 60% of that, we're talking about 300, 400 mm. gigawatts of uh, renewable power being set up. Okay. And a few we I think a week back, the power minister also made a statement about 2,35,000 crores of TND set up for solar plants. So to me, I think these two areas, which could be solar and also TND associated with solar, both of, both of them for green hydrogen, could, could, could turn out to be the joker in the pack. Okay, interesting, uh, Mr. Kejriwal. Let's see how that segment pans out for you going into next year. But thank you very much for joining in and speaking with us. So that's KEC International. That stock is up around six tenths of percent. Look, sounding extremely optimistic actually going into FI24. They do expect a margin improvement. They're looking to reduce debt by around 500 odd crores. They're expecting around a 40 percent growth in the international business. And as you mentioned, as uh, Mr. Kejriwal mentioned, solar might be one of the segments of growth going forward as well. Need to take a short break, but technicals on the other side. Stay tuned.